A full stream layout has a lot of different elements, and keeping track of how to use each of them can be confusing. Sets? Scenes? Aren't they the same thing? Sources? Let's talk about these differences in today's episode. I'm Eples Fox, and welcome back to my XSplit Masterclass, sponsored by XSplit. By this point in the course, we've, in, we've covered and introduced all of the basics, and now we're covering some more advanced usage of XSplit Gamecaster. Remember that every episode of this course is available in the description down below in one big playlist from the start, so if you have any questions or concerns, check the playlist because I've already addressed it, even if the video hasn't been made public yet, you can still go watch it. Are you ready to take ultimate control over your live stream but you're not sure how? The Elgato Stream Deck is the key to unlocking your full potential. With your choice of 6, 15, or 32 keys, all with customizable screens behind them, and unlimited possibilities to nest, make folders, and pages to control your live stream with scene switching, muting your microphone, activating your Elgato key lights, and setting up multi-actions to do everything at once. Start your stream, turn on your lights, tweet your stream, you can do anything. You'd be a fool not to have this in your setup. You don't want to be a fool, do you? Check it out via the link below and tell them the stream professor sent you. There are three core elements to live streaming on XSplit. Sets, scenes, and sources. That list starts from the biggest to the smallest, but let's go smallest to biggest to make things a little more, make, make a little more sense. First, we have sources. These are individual objects or items shown on stream. Webcam, webcam frames, alerts, recent followers or recent tipper labels, gameplay, text, or images. These are all individual sources that you can manage for a stream. But typically widgets are more dynamic elements specific to your theme. Themes are just pre-made layouts and graphic sets to use in Gamecaster to get a stream up and running. They act as a dedicated set of scenes and sources already laid out and configured for you to help save you time. XSplit provides a lot of them, we covered them earlier in the course. Scenes are as they sound, individual frames that you manage your sources in and arrange them in layouts to show to your viewers. You can have multiple different scenes that serve different purposes. For example, the pre-made themes in Gamecaster typically come with three different scenes. A main scene, which is what would be on screen most of the time for your viewers. This contains your gameplay, your face cam overlay, some graphics, alerts, and recent event labels. Next is an intermission scene. This usually features gameplay and face cam side by side so viewers can see a little bit more of you with chat or recent events highlighted more clearly to your viewers than it would on a typical gameplay face cam scene. This allows chat to discuss with you in between matches. This may also omit gameplay entirely and just show the face cam as the main subject or some variant. This is kind of like a just chatting scene. Last is usually a starting soon or be right back scene where the just basic text indicating that the stream hasn't started yet with recent events and a few graphics featured to help shout out your fans. You can, of course, use sources across multiple scenes as desired or make your own scenes to suit your own streaming needs. These are just the standard array of scenes that are expected. Taking another step back in Gamecaster, we also have sets. Sets are basically a collection of scenes together. If you download a new theme from the Themes tab, it will usually set that theme up as a new set to keep from messing up your previous set. This can be super handy for many reasons, separating out visuals for completely different shows that you stream, separating visuals for different platforms that you stream on so you have a different layout for Twitch versus YouTube and so on, or even switching themes and layouts for different games. Organization is key and sets are one tool that you don't want to ignore. For those familiar with OBS, this would be akin to scene collections over there. If you wish to rename your sets to better keep track of them, you can either edit the name uh, right above the sources list in the center of the screen, or you can right click the set icon in the left hand sidebar and click settings. Here you can rename the set and even change its icon to something more specific to what that set will be used for so that you know what it is. By right clicking on that icon, you can also duplicate a set to experiment and make changes to it and maybe keep your original and without you know losing track of what you already had before, or you can delete a set entirely. For scenes, you can click the three dots next to the scene name to rename the scene, duplicate it to edit from a copy, as I mentioned before, or delete the scene entirely. Editing a scene can be addressed from this menu as well, or by mousing over the Gamecaster preview and clicking Edit Scene. We covered this scene editor back in the first episode of the course, so go check that out if you missed it. Make sure you save your changes, of course. And that's it. It's important to understand how all of these elements relate to each other and where to go to manage them so you don't get lost or lose your progress. Building a killer live stream means having a diverse and dynamic set of scenes. <laughs> See what I did there? Sets and scenes ready to rock, each with engaging layouts, different scenes for different times during your streams, and so on. 
The last thing you want is for your stream to never change the way it looks for hours on end. Your viewers will get bored. There's a reason TV shows cut angles constantly. Thanks for watching this episode of my XSplit Masterclass. Get subscribed for more tech education and stream guides. That's, you know, my streamer tutorial and review series. Maybe hit the like button. Consider sharing this course with a friend if they need help. I'm Eples Fox, and I'll see you next time.